Right here I have this two burner electric cooktop. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what it looks like. This is everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. We have the actual two burner cooktop itself and we also have four of these little feet that you can install if you are using this just on the countertop. And if you're actually wanting to install this down into the counter, it comes with a little hardware that you're gonna need to do that as well. Because I'm going to be using this just on top of the countertop, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and install the little legs on here. You can see I got these legs fully installed on here and you can also see there are two individual fans on the bottom. Let's go ahead and flip this over and look at the main features. So you can see each of these two different cooktops here. Each of them are identical in the little function. So let's look up close at one of them. So right over here, we have a little safety function. It's just if you hold this and press for three seconds, it's going to lock these buttons. That way nobody can change your settings. Then right over here, you have a timer function and you have these plus and minus buttons so you can set the timer for the time that you would like. And then right over here is the function button and that's gonna alternate between any of these preset functions that you'd like to select. If you start over here on this side, we have melt, simmer, steam, boil, fry, roast, stir fry, and fast heat. Essentially, these are going to start at the lowest temperature over here on this side. For example, melt is going to be the lowest temperature and then it's gonna be a little bit higher temperature for simmer and steam and boil. And then fast heat over here is going to be the highest temperature. So starting down here, this is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And then up here at fast heat, this is going to be 700 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is gonna be a great option if you're just trying to get up to a high temperature really quickly. And then right over here, we have the on and off button. Something that I really like about this cooktop is not only that these are completely independent heat sources, so you can just use one or the other or both at the same time, but I also like that you're essentially gonna be able to use any type of vessel on top of here. For example, you can use cast iron cookware, aluminum cookware, stainless steel cookware, copper. You can even use concave base cookware, which usually cooktops like this, you have to have like a flat base bottom. And this one, you don't even need to do that. You can also use ceramic cookware, glass cookware, and enameled iron. So basically that's everything except for plastic, which you obviously wouldn't use on this. Just for size reference, this is 23.6 inches across the bottom here. And it's 13.8 inches going up and down. And this is also 2.6 inches wide as far as from the countertop up to here. It is a little bit smaller. You can definitely check out those dimensions online if you are installing this into the countertop just because there is kind of a lip right here. I also think it's really convenient that this does have a 120 volt plug-in. So it's just your standard plug-in. And the fact that this cooktop is nice and smooth, it's just gonna be really easy to clean. Let me go ahead and get this plugged in so we can try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of these cooktops on. And we're gonna do the fast heat. I have two cups of water in both of these vessels. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them to a boil and then check back in. You can see this one is at a full rolling boil and this one is just started fully boiling. I like that that didn't take too long and I like that I can use both of these in different ways. I can use this one on low and that one on high or just use one at a time. The fact that they're independent and that the fan isn't too loud, it's just a huge plus. 